Hey guys, today we're riding an electric unicycle, a little bit different from our normal automotive content, but it's still a wheeled transportation device. This is a self-balancing electric unicycle. So if you lean forward, it'll accelerate. If you lean back, it'll break and slow down and go backwards. This is the InMotion V12. It has a 1750 watt hour battery with 100 volt architecture. It goes up to 60 to 70 miles. That's its max range at 100% charge. Top speed is around 37 miles per hour. It has a 2800 watt motor, which is nominal. It can peak higher. This is the high torque V12 from InMotion. It has some neat safety features like an alarm and tilt back warning system. Lots of in-app configurability with the InMotion application. It also features high power LED lights, front and rear and also high volume speakers so that you can stream music while you're riding via Bluetooth. Wanted to give a big thanks to yuko.com today for supplying me with this electric unicycle and letting us test and film a video on it. I fitted this V12 high torque with a set of Clark pads for a little bit extra control so that I can really dig into those turns and accelerate better with my legs. All right, so this is the new V12F. It's a big old heavy wheel. We do have a nice integrated screen right here so we can see our level of charge, our available mileage, and the speed that we're going. Total of 155 miles on this wheel. Board temperature is 84 degrees. We can control our lights right here, high and low beams. You can also see we have a very nicely integrated trolley handle right here that makes it very easy to wheel this around indoor spaces. This also features an integrated stand so that you can set this down and it'll sit on its own for a little bit. Anyway, let's take this InMotion V12 for a ride. I'm a little bit rusty on these things. It's been a while. We're on one of my favorite mountain bike trails right now. And we'll give you guys some first riding impressions. So right off the bat, one of my favorite things about this new InMotion V12 is the tire they fitted to it. Very chunky, very grippy, really nice off-road. And the size of it allows you to really kind of air down and lower that tire pressure. I'm running about 12, 13 PSI on this wheel right now, and it feels perfect off-road. Plenty of cushion. This does not have suspension. There are some suspension wheels out there. This is not one of them. But even with the lower tire pressure, I feel like I have pretty nice ride quality with this wheel. It is heavier, and I am a lighter rider. I'm only about 145, 150 pounds with all my gear on. And it is a behemoth. It is a beast to wheel around. But it's still really fun. The extra torque from this wheel is fantastic on road and on trails. The only area where I'm a little bit disappointed with this performance, and this is a common issue that I found with some other InMotion products, is braking is just a little bit less controllable than I would like. Um, leaning back on this wheel, the braking performance isn't what I was hoping it would be. I want just a little bit more regenerative power from this wheel so that I can slow down and have a little bit more confidence down hills. Acceleration torque is not an issue. This thing has just a ton of power and a ton of load on torque. It makes climbs with ease pretty much up and down any obstacle. You can pretty much throw a 45 degree incline at this thing and it'll just eat it up. If anything, traction is your limiting factor, not necessarily torque and power. Here's what the InMotion app looks like. We have a ton of adjustability in a number of settings here. So we'll just kind of lean up against this tree and show you guys what this looks like. There's some social media aspects to it, but mostly you're going to be wanting to go into the settings and you can customize your lights, your top speed. I've set the max speed on this to 31 miles per hour, but this will go all the way up to 37 miles per hour. You have two different drive modes, off-roading and commuting. Commuting is a little bit of a softer mode. You can adjust your speeding and braking. There's also a really nice transportation mode that will lock the wheel so that if it turns on while it's being transported, it won't uh, cause any damage to the box or uh, carrying device that it's in. A lot of nice settings and features in the app. I found the InMotion app to be one of the better electric unicycle applications. Uh, it connects with the wheel immediately, recognizes everything, no issues there. So in this video, we'll be testing this wheel in a number of different environments. Figured we'd start off on the trail since that seems to be the where this is best suited right now. And it's one of my favorite places to ride. 
personally, I've found that traffic, cars, other vehicles can be a little bit unpredictable. Trees, though, pretty much stay where they're at. Climbing a little bit of a hill here, no issue. And when going downhills, you just kind of have to embrace the speed because, again, braking ability is not quite what I would like it to be. I'm finding this to be a pretty comfortable wheel to ride, especially with the power pads. Pedals are nice and long and wide. Pretty grippy grip tape on there too, though you can always upgrade that type of stuff. This also has a strengthened orange painted rim, which is always nice. If you are running lower pressures for improved ride quality, you're gonna wanna be able to uh, repair or uh, not have to even worry about rim damage on rougher paved roads or trails. All right, that was kind of a tighter technical trail. Let's open things up a little bit. We've got some uh, paved trails up here. We can test out higher speed stability on this wheel. Very stable at higher speeds. Look down, we're doing about 30 miles an hour there. Easy to carve turns. Braking performance is definitely better than my InMotion V10F. Getting a little bit of tilt back there at 31 miles per hour. It's a pretty smooth, fluid wheel to ride. There's a lot of adjustability. You can adjust the tilt angle of the wheel so it can tilt forward a little bit for you. That also aids in acceleration and uh, braking performance, depending on your rider preference. Power pads are really a necessity on a wheel like this. Fortunately, you can pretty much get whatever you want these days. They're readily available. Some great manufacturing going on with a variety of companies. You can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them from Clark Pads, which is what I did. I'm finding this to be a really nice wheel to ride at speed, and it definitely suits my riding style better than some other wheels that have come out recently. I like that it's high torque, and that the top speed isn't necessarily the goal here. Honestly, I've never been too interested in riding these electric unicycles at speeds above 30 miles per hour anyway. It's important to wear full gear on these things. All right, another tighter technical mountain bike trail here for you. Got some roots. I do really appreciate that we're finally able to get some off-road oriented tires on these electric unicycles from the factory. It was a little bit tedious to go out and have to ship knobby tires from China or from Germany or from the Ukraine. My main wheel is an older Gotway MSX and I'm finding this to be a little bit more fluid and comfortable to ride all the time. It also has adjustable pedals. So you can really change the angle of the pedal, the tilt, to your desired level, whether you're doing more off-road riding or on-road riding. I believe it's the first wheel to have that. Pretty neat feature. I think the highlights here are the in-app adjustability and just the breadth that this wheel achieves. It's a very versatile wheel that you can use in a bunch of different scenarios. Pricing is $2,500. Yuko is getting a new shipment in here mid-June. So we should have some more wheels coming in. You can always pre-order and get on the list for the next wave. Keeping our speeds down here just in case if someone is uh, walking around the corner. Yeah, overall this week I found this to be a pretty nice wheel to ride and get to learn to use. 
it's pretty approachable, I think, for more novice riders. You can definitely up your skill with a wheel like this. It has enough capability to keep you entertained for a long time. And I think advanced riders will really appreciate the durability and build of this wheel. It feels very solid. It's very well made. I like the finishing. I like some of the features like the handles and the built-in kickstand. Here's what the charge port looks like. You can order a fast charger for these wheels, but with 60 to 70 miles of range, that seems like enough, for, at least for my riding style. At 60% battery, we've got an estimated range of 23 miles left. Of course, all of that will vary depending on your speed, riding environment, tire pressure, temperature. All right, guys, so how can we sum up some thoughts on the InMotion V12 High Torque? Well, I think this is a really nice all-rounder. Pros are just the overall versatility of this wheel. It has a really nice off-road oriented tire with plenty of room sidewall and leeway for big impacts. Seems to grip pretty well on the dirt and mud and sand too. The torque from this motor is absolutely fantastic. It just gives you a ton of confidence with this wheel. However much you lean into it, that's what it gives you back. Cons are, it's a little bit heavy. I think I'd be willing to give up some range for a slightly lighter weight package. And I think the braking issue factors into that too. This is just a big wheel to bring down from speed. But that is something that you can ride around and you do adjust to it a little bit after some time on it. This wheel jumps really well. No rattles, no rubbing. It's all packaged very nicely. Seems like a uh, very well-built item. It's some of the better build quality that I've seen from electric unicycles recently. Power pads are easy to mount. And it's been a comfortable wheel to ride as well. It's also completely silent. No motor noise. I'm not a big one on uh, playing music while I'm riding, so I haven't really tested out the Bluetooth feature. I'm sure it works great, and I'm also sure there are some other videos out there that, that uh, talk about that in a little bit more detail. You can really adjust this wheel to suit your riding style. Whether you prefer a little bit more tilt forward action or a more responsive wheel, you can change all of that in the settings in the InMotion app. I think you could really put a lot of miles on this wheel very easily and get some great use out of it. It kind of seems to do it all and do it all pretty well. Yes, it doesn't have suspension, but honestly, sometimes simplicity is better. And the tire on this is so beefy and chunky that it kind of makes up for it in some ways. Well, you can just rock it out of corners on this thing. It's so nice to be able to just lean into the power without any concerns. If you use your heels to really dig into those pads under braking, that seems to kind of help a little bit with slowing down down hills. I'm always amazed at what gnarly terrain these wheels are able to tackle with relative ease. Pretty much anything you can do on a mountain bike, you can do on an electric unicycle with enough riding skill. Ground clearance with pedal height is also really impressive on this V12 high torque. Never scraped any pedals on this this week. You can really lean into turns fun little trail that I've never discovered before. 
some mulberries, little hill, no problem, and we're out. Nice. <laughs> There's something pretty magical about riding an electric unicycle. The closest thing I've been able to compare it to or think of is when you're flying in a dream. This is kind of how it feels. Maybe it's a little bit bumpier, but <laughs> there's nothing beneath you. It's not like you're riding a motorcycle and you have to hold on to anything. Your hands are completely free. If you want to go faster, you just lean forward. If you want to slow down, you just lean back. It's a pretty wild experience. Think Segway, but without the handlebars and on steroids. Technology with these wheels has improved exponentially these last few years as the market demand has increased. There's really a lot of riders. I started riding, oh gosh, it was probably about seven, eight years ago. And uh, you could barely get any power out of these wheels. I think the top speed was around 18 miles per hour on some of the fastest ones. And now we're seeing top speeds over 40, almost 50 miles per hour. That's a little scary for me. Again, 30 is kind of my top speed on these wheels. I don't feel too comfortable going any faster. I wear a full face helmet, a full jacket, armored, with elbow pads, a back pad, shoulder pads. I also have knee guards and shin guards, as well as wrist guards. Those are probably some of the most important. You can also armor up a little bit more. I'm also wearing a pair of pants that are uh, armored slightly too, a little bit thicker. They are pretty heavy, but definitely helps with any sliding that you may encounter if you fall off or in the event of a uh, unfortunate cutout. Definitely have to ride to your skill level, weight, conditions, and your wheels capability on these things. But boy, is it a fun experience. Very enjoyable, very rewarding. And I appreciate that this V12 is completely silent. It makes for just a little bit more of a perfect riding experience, especially on some of these trails. It's a pretty bumpy section. It's taking it all in stride. The automatic tilting on this wheel seems to be pretty well calibrated out of the box. You can always make adjustments in the app, but it's not throwing me off around these corners. It all seems to be very natural feeling, really nice and fluid. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be a wrap. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, but high marks for the InMotion V12 High Torque. I do like this wheel. It looks good too. And again, thanks to Yuko for letting me have this and review it and spend some time in it for a couple weeks. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.